Hi there guys, welcome to this video. This is a Quantum Gaming Uploads. What I'll be showing you in this video is the update that we got today on our consoles and PC. So I'm gonna show you the, the patch uh, release notes. So let's go guys. So this is a patch note 1.25.7.0. So th this is a sim update 9. I'm not gonna repeat myself by reading all of these guys, so you can uh, have a look. I'm only gonna talk about uh, the main things. So this is to tell you that uh, you need to uh, delete uh, some stuff from a community folder uh, before you install the new update. So the thing uh, works correctly after. It tells you other things about uh, like a, a new CFD simulation for the Chesna 1.172 Skyhawk G1000 and that can be enabled in the aircraft creators and a new FXS added to the F-18 Super Hornet experimenting the G-Force With the triggers, the wing tips, and wing vortex. So we're gonna test all this stuff, guys. But in time, they're not gonna be all together. It would be like from week to week, depending on what they fixed. So it takes a lot of time to, to test all this stuff. Well, this is the uh, general uh, bug fixes. They fix a silent crash when launching the title. And this other stuff in here, uh, cloud storage, uh, to do the achievement. Okay, so improve the compilation time for WASM models and first boot. That's cool. And fix the front issues in the game panels. That's cool as well. I like this as well. Now they fix the mask cursors. That's cool. And this to do with the dead zone. Uh, the cockpit in the dev mode. Our VR controllers. So this is the fixed uh, RTC for the Robin DR400 and the Boeing 747-8 Intercontinental. And fixed the autopilot behavior. And fixed the heading select. That's cool. And to do with the stability, they fixed uh, several crashes. Uh, performance optimization. And the time for the loading of some files that have been fixed. So navigation traffic. So aircraft, AI aircraft will no longer get uh, expedited requests. Something to do with the ILS. You know about these guys. Uh, all this stuff with the ILS. You can read that. And the weather. Now they fixed the popcorn clouds. That's cool because they looked a bit funny. So reduction of the clouds when they appear at close range. Yeah, that's cool. So they fixed the issue where the altitude is below the sea level. Report incorrect ambient pressures. That's cool. Uh, audio. That's cool. Activity. It's not possible to delete flights. Files from a cloud storage. That's cool. I do the saves. That's cool. So this is the planes. This is the main one. The journal about planes. Here you can read all these guys. There's lots of stuff in here. I'm trying to see any important stuff in here, but uh, uh, okay. 
Okay, so added missing inputs for nav 3, nav 4. And to match their nav 1 and nav 2 counterparts. That's cool. Okay, so a new debugger feature for easier debug and adjustment of aircraft and stall behaviors. That's cool. I'm trying to read all these guys, but... Uh, Okay, change over speed limit based on reference speed above Mac 2.5 max. Okay, speed is considered for AAS, not IAS, only above Mac 2.5. Okay, so this is for the F 18 Super Hornet. So they've seen they must have fixed lots of stuff in this F 18. Lots of stuff. Let's see if anything uh, important. External HUD, okay. Explain the airspeed in Mac, that's cool. Corrected an issue with afterburner. Not properly getting uh, disabled when the throttle is set below its range. To its uh, input event, okay, that's cool. Uh, Added an axis key to control the nose wheel steering. Oh, that's cool. Added a nav 3, nav 4. Okay, so they fixed the folded wings uh, aerodynamics. That's cool. After burner power ratio improved. The max acceleration, time at all altitudes. I'm going to try the F-18 actually. I'm going to try it after this. And see what... Uh, what it feels like. I'll fix an issue with the HUD. Slider moving when a rudder is applied. Okay. Fix the wheel contact points. Okay. Fix the uh, decals on the left and right panel for the bed naming. Okay. I'll fix the uh, HMD color glass. Updated the seatbelt texture. Fix the fuel system issue. And tweak the wingtip vortex or vortices. A vapor con effect. Oh, yeah, I've seen that actually. I think I've seen that in the beta. Yeah, that's cool. So the Boeing uh, 787-10 Dreamliner corrected an issue with the STD button, which has a behavior consistence with the mines button. Okay, so I don't see much improved on this. Fix the minor display issue with the CDU approach. REF page highlight. Okay. I don't see much in here. Boeing 7478 Intercontinental. Anything important in here? Fixed wrong flaps position animation. Okay, that's cool. The rest, you can read the rest, guys. Uh, Airbus i Neo. Corrected an issue that caused the Alpha protection to be unable to trigger the toga. Okay, that's cool. Uh, corrected an issue that caused an AP maximum altitude to be too high. Yeah, I think that was an issue. But I don't see much on the Neo. They fixed the Chesna 172. It's got a few stuff in that. I'm just looking if we can find anything important in here, guys. Lots of uh, stuff here, but I don't see anything that stands out. Adjusted the engine orientation to adjust the engine effects. Okay, so you can read all these guys. I didn't see anything that stands out apart from uh, minor things. Chestnut 208 Grand Caravan. Okay, so I corrected the behavior of uh, 208 BS. Uh, it's a Delche system and the Beechcraft King Air 350i. Uh, Chesna Citation CJ4. Nothing uh, important. Improved on uh, TMB 930. Improved on TBM throttle. Better animation. That's cool. Velocity. Right, an issue with the behavior of velocity altitude hold down. Yes, nothing uh, nothing that uh, stands out, guys. Uh, the world, the fix in the world. 
a new vegetation debug tool for trees and vegetation with drawing distances. That's cool. Added a new Asobo office in Bordeaux, France. Improved some uh, tiling, cut issues, existing manually edited watermarks. Watermarks, okay, that's cool. Fixed the transition for the water on the coastlines on specific age cases. Uh, fixed the various elevation data issues across the world. That's cool. The UI, various minor UI fixes. Game panels will no longer be distorted when changing stream ratio. That's cool. The marketplace wasn't showing generic purchase and download pipeline errors. Okay, so that's fixed. Okay, on the marketplace, an item required space is now displayed before downloading. Okay, well, that's cool. So the peripherals, this had to do with the, the yoke and all the stuff, eye tracking and all that. So you can read that. I haven't got any of this stuff. So added a new axis type input for nose wheel steering. That's cool. A multiplayer. Xbox Live invitations for private Reno lobby are now working. Oh, that's cool. Now I fixed a rare bug when a player could be stuck in a group without the possibility to leave it. Okay. So SDK dev mode. I don't think you're going to need this, guys. This is for PC. You can read that if it interests you, but uh, I don't see anything that's uh, got to do with the Xbox. It's cool. That's a lot of stuff to do with that, actually. The editing. Lots of stuff. Craft editor, project editor, WASM. Okay. So that's, uh, this is uh, important. Create a WASM debug window, which uh, displays information about the WASM module. Uh, custom key events are now well received by events and their function. Okay. I don't see anything else, guys. Nothing that's uh, really important. I wanted to see more on the A310 and Neo, but it had a few issues, apparently. But uh, anyway, it's nothing, nothing like crazy when it comes to updates. Apart from the cone that you see on the planes, the vapor and all that. Apart from that, it's just, uh, I don't think it's a Anything major, guys, when it comes to the update. But yeah, I just wanted to show you this, guys. And uh, I didn't want to read all of it because it becomes just uh, too much. I'm sure you read all of this, but uh, I just wanted to give you like a quick, quick like brief of it. So yeah, guys, uh, hopefully you enjoy this video. And uh, see you next time. For one and only, Quantum Gaming Uploads. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.